It's a pretty afternoon today. Birds are singing. Wind is blowing just a little bit. Uh, temperature's probably in the mid-60s. They're talking like we could have a thunderstorm later tonight. We'll see what happens. But uh, I don't know if you can see it, but look at my willow tree in the backyard. Look how it's uh, really uh, budding out there. It's, it's beyond budding out now. It's uh, really starting to look like a tree. Ah, spring is in the air, absolutely. Well, let's see what's going on here at the trailer. See if I can find a way to get around here. Get into the trailer here. Not much room to walk everywhere. <laughs> ah, so much stuff in the way. Got the van in the way. Bushes in the way. Ah. Workshops got all kinds of stuff spread here and there see how that is my goodness my 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 well let's go in here and see what's going on let's see what's going on well how come you ain't working <laughs> ran out of things to do because somebody miscalculated how much plywood we needed oh i wasn't going to say anything about that <laughs> i wasn't going to say anything about that we were tired that day when we were figuring how much we would need yeah. for some reason thought four sheets of plywood would do both walls. Well, maybe it would if it was a um, eight foot trailer, but yeah. not a 16, huh? No. <laughs> That's all right. Now we have to go back to Lowe's. Yeah, we get to go back to Lowe's. Four sheets of plywood to finish. Buy four more sheets and uh, then try to work in hanging those four sheets on the other side uh, during the week so we can have something better to report uh, next weekend. Anyway, this is Bill and Deb, and I uh, thought we might just show you real quickly what we was able to do uh, today between uh, sleeping in this morning and uh, watching a bunch of YouTube videos. We, it's our ritual on Sunday morning. We lay in bed and we watch a bunch of YouTube videos. and uh, Not necessarily ours, but we have several folks that we follow on YouTube, some that are full-time RVers some uh, that are uh, into tiny houses, and some that are doing cargo trailer conversions like we are. But anyway, when we got done doing that, we come on out and uh, we managed to uh, get these four sheets of plywood up on this one side here. And we're really excited about how it came out. Uh, it actually came out a whole lot better than I thought it would. But uh, anyway, it'll make the other side go a little easier when we get ready to do it. But this is, uh, is going to be a short one today, folks, I promise. It'll be a short one. Uh, you can see better, though, how we, uh, how we trimmed out around the window now. Give you a little bit better idea. I still have to fine-tune. I cut the, uh, when I cut the panels to fit around the window, I cut them a little, uh, I want to say big, but I actually cut them a little small so I could uh, trim out myself uh, around the window with my little multi-tool, which I've done a little bit of that already to smooth it out and then sand it. But uh, anyway, it, it came out real good around the window, so I'm real excited about how that worked out right there. Uh, I can't remember in the last video, but I don't think we had the, the ends up in the last video, and we ended up reusing the same plywood that came off for the ends, uh, for this end here, the nose, and then also uh, the back, where the back door is here. We ended up using the, uh, the same plywood that came off, reusing it. But on the sides, we went with a different product. We wanted something that, uh, now uh, where you see the seam there in the middle, I don't know if you can see it in the video or not, but where you see the seams, the four sheets coming together there in the center, most of that will be covered up by uh, things like the TV and stuff like that there. And we're also looking into maybe using some kind of a uh, wood filler that will hold up under uh, being towed down the road, you know, as far as vibrations and things are concerned and smoothing that out. The product that we went with here is a product called SurePly, which is really made for uh, using as underlayment underneath vinyl flooring and things like that. Uh, SurePly has a, uh, uh, it's my understanding that it has a better adhesive that uh, bonds the applies together to help resist against uh, moisture for one thing. And another thing against uh, delamination, uh, uh, in the old days, when we didn't have products like this available to us, we would use regular quarter-inch uh, Luon-style plywood, 
And sometimes we get a call back because the uh, plies in the wood itself would separate and you'd see a bubble in the floor. And of course, we first thought that it was just a bubble in the vinyl itself where we didn't get it, you know, stuck in the glue real good. And um, the secret that we use for that would be to take a needle and poke a small hole in a, in a grout line in the vinyl and work the air out and then the bubble would settle down. And if that's what it was, that would fix it. But uh, now and then we'd run across one now and then where that did not fix it. And it turned out that it was actually not a bubble in the vinyl, but it was the actual plywood itself bubbling because the adhesives were not uh, good enough adhesives between the plies and let it separate and uh, created a bubble situation. So uh, this is what I decided to use on the walls. Actually, my wife and I talked it over and we looked into using beadboard. We looked into using all different kinds of things. And the things that I didn't like about the beadboard that I'd found was that uh, really and truthfully, uh, beadboard is really a glorified masonite product. And uh, of course, those things concern me a little bit. Um, masonite is, you know, let's be honest, it's like a high density paper, you know, you, know, might, you might as well say. So anyway, uh, so we went with this. We'll see how it works out. We still have this wall to go over here. You can still see where all the furring strips are and everything on this side. And that'll be the next thing we do is do this wall uh, here in the next uh, few days. I'll have to work at it piecemeal when I get home if I've got enough daylight. Uh, the weather's really starting to straighten out right now. We're having warmer and warmer days. Of course, uh, the official beginning of spring is just around the corner. And it's coming into my favorite time of the year. We're pushing real hard. We, we hope to have this thing done by June because we want to start using it. We wish we could have it done by, uh, by uh, Memorial Day. Uh, and we might have it done where we can at least take it out for the weekend and maybe throw a, a mattress on the floor or something. But as far as uh, having it completed and, and readily set up as a usable uh, tiny house, if you will, uh, I don't know that we're going to make it by, by Memorial Day. But who knows? Things just might go perfect, you know, from here on out. So anyway, I just wanted to do a brief one. And I wanted to briefly mention, some of you might have noticed it. By the way, we have 780 subscribers now. The, the list continues to grow. And uh, I think we uh, went beyond 58,000 views total for the channel. And uh, considering we've uh, been doing this for, uh, what, three or four months now, I guess. Um, that's... Uh, very humbling. We, we really appreciate it. We, uh, we're, uh, we're just tickled to death that so many folks have shown some interest in it. And we appreciate that. And we want you all to know that. Um, we want you all to know that uh, from, up, from the bottom of our hearts. Uh, we, did, we will mention one thing. Uh, I've mentioned it before. I've kind of alluded to it in the past that really and truthfully, uh, I prefer to, we pre prefer to, uh, to uh, refer to this trailer as a tiny house conversion rather than um, an RV, you might say, or something like that. We're building it more on the fashion of a tiny house. So we talked it over and we decided to uh, change the name of the channel from I Ride RV Adventures to I Ride Tiny House Adventures. So uh, you may notice a name change, you may not. Uh, that's okay. Uh, <laughs> but we just decided to make that change and uh, hopefully it... Uh, it doesn't come back to uh, to haunt us later for making that change, but uh, we really think it uh, the name fits more what we're doing now compared to what uh, we were doing when we originally started the channel back over two years ago when we truly did have an RV that we were remodeling, uh, which of course ended up uh, in a mishap and uh, it caught fire and was uh, totaled by the insurance company. So anyway, uh, it's now Tiny House Adventures. I ride Tiny House Adventures. Keep that in the back of your mind. Uh, it's still Bill and Deb. Uh, we're still uh, working on it and uh, giving you uh, regular updates. Um, uh, try to do it every week if we can. Um, and like I said, I promise this is going to be a short one. I mean, the last one was 31 minutes. So let's try to keep this one around 10 minutes, I think. And uh, I'm getting close. I'm watching the, the ticker tick off here. So anyway, uh, we're going to sign off. Uh, this is Bill and Deb with I Ride Tiny House Adventures. And we'll be talking to you again soon. Maybe we'll have another, another wall up, another wall done with paneling. And uh, who knows, maybe we'll even have part of the ceiling done by then. Let's see. All right, y'all take care. We'll see you later. Y'all uh, have a good week. Bye-bye now.